Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Learn. In this video, I am going to talk to you about the topic learning Docker from scratch. Please do subscribe my YouTube channel to get notified for the upcoming videos. Let's go to the topic. This is the prerequisite. Uh, the it, uh, it should have uh, the, you should have a basic understanding of Linux or Windows operating system. That's all the prerequisite. Before going to the actual um, demonstration of a Docker installation, Docker and configuring uh, containers, everything, I would like to give you a brief introduction about what is Docker. Docker is a computer program that programs operating system level virtualization. It also known as containerization. Containers are isolated from each other and bundle their own application tools, libraries and configuration files. They can communicate with each other through well-defined channels. All containers are run by a single operating system kernel and are thus more lightweight than virtual machines. From the uh, explanation, you it's, it's very easy to understand what is Docker. It's uh, you can compare a Docker with a with a virtual machine, but only thing is, uh, in a virtual machine, you you may have uh, a dedicated uh, operating system, dedicated kernel, but uh, in Docker, it's not the case. We are installing Docker engine on top of an operating system. We can install uh, normally we install in Linux. So in on top of Linux, there will be a Docker engine running, and on top of that, we will have uh, a number of containers. Containers is uh, same as Docker. When a Docker uh, a do uh, when a Docker is running, which means a container. Okay. So uh, that's it. Uh, the uh, and uh, the container you can run a number of containers on top of. Uh, uh, docker on, on top of a single docker engine uh, in a single machine and uh, uh, it 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 is uh, it, it is sharing the kernel of the uh, base operating system so it don't have a dedicated uh, uh, a dedicated kernel or something but you can install uh, uh, the uh, with containers on top of that uh, this is the picture representation it, it is it is more easy to understand uh, about docker this is the uh, you might already seen this this is the docker logo here and here we have uh, the kernel see the kernel is same and on top of this kernel there is a docker engine running uh, running and uh, we have three containers running on top of this uh, kernel on top of it, uh, this uh, uh, docker engine which is uh, one is uh, one container which is running alpine with a static binary and uh, the second container which is ubuntu and on top of that uh, mysql and this, there is a php running the third container which is debian and uh, java is running on top of that and uh, the, the top cat so he, here if you see there are different operating systems there are different operating system on top, on top of that there are different applications running everything on a single single machine single kernel single operating system so that's a, that's that's docker it's a it's a virtualization but uh, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a not like a VM, but there's a difference. It's a, it's a very lightweight VM. We can compare like that. We can say like that. Okay, I'm not going to much deeper into the Docker uh, theory and the Docker internals. I'm uh, explaining you. I'm going to show you how Docker works. How you how you can install a Docker engine. How uh, you can run containers uh, containers how you can build images many things so I'm going uh, to open this this is uh, this is my top file sorry okay this is uh, this is the these are the steps I'm going to explain uh, here I'm going to give you a demo here okay give me a second okay here i have a, a virtual machine uh, running on uh, in my laptop uh, on top of the virtual box uh, this is uh, i'm using red hat as uh, centos centos 7.6 
and uh, here I'm going to give you the demo. Okay, let's start now. Here, uh, first of all, uh, we will install the Docker package. Uh, this is uh, CentOS. I'm using yum install command to install Docker. I have already installed it to save uh, the time in this tutorial. So I have installed this package. This one, uh, Docker with this version. Okay. Okay, the, the installation is just a uh, yum install and we have already done this installation. Now uh, the step 2 which is uh, start docker engine. Uh, we use uh, the service or systemctl command to start the docker service which is actually a docker engine and uh, we will enable this to make it uh, our reboot and we can check the status okay this is running and uh, just enabled okay all looks good okay and now we just start with the docker so docker command docker here the list of commands Okay, the list of uh, docker docker commands here okay these are the list of docker commands and uh, we, we will be using uh, some of these commands in the coming tutorial this is the just a um, there is a the, the, the syntax is like uh, docker option command and arguments and uh, this is these are the sub commands in docker the docker is the actual command and there are many sub commands uh, that uh, we will use for different purposes if you or if you need to know more about uh, for example if you not need to know more about pull what are the options uh, in pull docker pull help here these are the options for pull like that you can do for other commands for example images so this is the docker images options you can try all this and um, these things so this is the syntax of docker command now we start working with the docker images okay first of all we will do this before that We will run our first docker container this is just uh, if you run a docker container uh, this we want to run this container docker run hello world it's pulling there are many steps involved in run command which is uh, actually uh, this is pulling the docker image from docker hub and it is uh, running the uh, container from the image see this hello from docker this message message shows you that installation appears work correctly okay we have done the installation correctly okay this is just a test container we can say like that and if you see i will give you the other things if you want to look for the containers from from where these containers coming so it's a docker registry which is a which is, a, uh, which is the docker from docker hub we are getting this uh, this uh, is a docker hub from where we are getting all these images like uh, uh, from where we get uh, yum yum packages or uh, rpms so similar way so if you want to search for docker um, if you if you want to know what are the CentOS images available in the Docker Hub, Docker Search, CentOS, this many images are available in the Docker Hub. So this is the base one, Docker IO, CentOS, and here uh, 
docker and sybil which is uh, i think which means the and sybil is installed on docker on centos 7 and there are many centos images which is used for different purposes and we can use uh, any of the images which suits what we need this is the jenkins installed one and there are many other things for it okay this is the docker search and how this this uh, this is actually in the docker hub what we searched here is which is in the docker hub and how we pull these images to our local uh, local system which is uh, we use docker pull and the image name which is center is here here it's uh, pulling i have already pulled this uh, centos image in my docker local registry to save time in this video so this is uh, if there is any update it will uh, do the update only but uh, i have already this and i can docker images here we see this is this is the first image we run hello world which includes pulling the image and running the container docker run command has all these things first it will pull the image and it will run the container and second image what we uh, we just pulled is uh, i have i think i already pulled uh, some time back but uh, this is this image is uh, centos okay and uh, this is docker images this is the command to show what are the images we have in the local repository see this is the one. okay now uh, if you want to remove one of the docker image for example uh, this this will occupy your hard space hard disk space so if you have a lot of images and you want to clean up you can use so you can remove the unwanted images that you have docker which is the command is rmi this is rm image as a, as a short of short form i don't want this image i don't want hide hello world so i remove this uh, must be forced because uh, image is being stopped used by stop the content okay yeah, which means uh, we already we are already running this uh, image if you i will give show you this later i need to stop the container first i need to remove the container first Okay, now I execute RMI. Okay, this is deleted. And if I check Docker images, okay, I have only CentOS and Jenkins now. It's good. Okay, now I'm going to run a, an actual Docker container, a useful Docker container, which is uh, I'm running I'm uh, running Jenkins application which is available which is already available in the repository in the uh, docker register docker hub and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm looking for this jenkins what are the jenkins available using search command and pulling the required image and running the container running jenkins with some options i'll explain you this and uh, checking the status and uh, checking the logs okay so first of all i'm searching for the jenkins Jenkins containers available in the Docker Hub. But there are a lot. Okay, I need only this one. So if you see my previous command here, I have already pulled this image to save because it's a 696 uh, MP, and I don't want to waste uh, downloading this time during this video. So I have already pulled this uh, image. Anyway, I will execute this command to show you what will happen. Okay, the image is uh, up to date. Okay, we have uh, pull, already pulled this image. Okay, now I'm going to run this uh, container with some specific options. So I will explain you this here. To run a container, we this is the 
Newcomer. Docker. Just. Just. Okay. And here. This is uh, um, running Docker as root. As root user. This is a hyphen u for specifying the root to which, the, which user I will run this. Hyphen d, which is in detached mode. So it will be running in the background. Okay. And the restart unless stopped. Which means it is. Uh, Jenkins will be restarted even across the you don't need to uh, if uh, some in in case if your base machine got rebooted what will happen your Jenkins will not be started right so this option will help you to start Jenkins across reboots you don't need to do anything even if you for some patching activity of the base machine you rebooted the server all the applications all the uh, docker containers in the in the base machine will be restarted will be started okay here this is the port i'm specifying 8080 is the default jenkins port when it is installed what i'm doing going to do here is i'm redirecting this port to 8081 from the host machine which means in, in docker inside the container the Jenkins will be served in this 8080 port but for for us if you are accessing uh, from a from this machine you can use 8081 like uh, I will tell you when when this installation is completed what what is the if you are if you are confused okay and uh, the Jenkins URL will be end with the uh, 8081 port for us and uh, we use the IP uh, how we access the Jenkins then we use IP of this base machine with this port instead of this port so if this is the port then uh, if we don't specify this we can access this to 8080 access with 8080 uh, this is the redirection of port from 8080 to 8081 8080 will be the uh, will be internally from the gen and the, from the containers and 8081 will be the external port okay and i'm going to run this yes it's uh, it must be running now i will check the status using docker ps command here we we can uh, before that i will check this logs what's sorry this uh, container id is different when when you execute ps command the, the first uh, first column is the container id this is the container id okay this is the logs from the jenkins container i think it's it's starting it, it might take a few few seconds and here this is the default initial password you we, we need to provide this to access jenkins url for the initial time okay the installation is going i'm checking the logs from the container okay jenkins is fully up and running okay it's good if you execute docker ps so here our container is running started about a minute ago and here this is the redirection of the port that that I was discussing before this okay our Jenkins container is uh, running now now we will see how we access Jenkins as I said earlier how we we, we access Jenkins using the IP address of this host machine which is 882 sorry I lost my browser okay is it <coughs> here 8081 which is the port what we redirected to the host machine see our Jenkins is started and it is asking for the administrator initial password okay here we 
already got the password here this is the please use this password for Jenkins this is Jenkins step huh? I'm not going to discuss more about Jenkins here I'll be uploading more videos uh, in about Jenkins in the upcoming days so please subscribe my channel to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded so this is a uh, Jenkins at least uh, what we did so far is we are running Jenkins in a docker container okay here this these are changing stuffs install plugins and all I'm not going to do that anything okay look here here this is the this is the one we are redirecting 8080 is the default port of a uh, Jenkins and we are redirecting to 8081 that's what we accessed just now okay okay we have started our first docker container now we are going to do a few things which is uh, committing changes in a container to a docker image for example we we just now installed uh, a docker a Jenkins docker container now what we are going to do is uh, Installing a base CentOS, which is a uh, normal CentOS like uh, 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 base CentOS from the Docker Hub, and we do some installation in that in that Docker container inside the Docker container, and what we are going to do here is we are creating an image, a customized image, which is. We are pulling the uh, Docker, uh, pulling the base CentOS from Docker Hub, and we are doing some customization. Customization. Uh, here I'm, I'm doing just insta installation of uh, Ansible inside the container. That's all. So, and uh, then what we do here is we we are saving this image. Okay, what we are what we are doing here, uh, we are committing the Docker uh, the updated Docker container as an image, and we are doing some stuffs like saving it into a tar file, uh, and you, you can make a tar file of your customized container, and you can uh, uh, transport it to some other server, and uh, you can load that uh, that uh, that tar file to some other server. And you can load that uh, as a content as an image and then we can run that uh, the customized content on another host or anywhere okay that's what uh, we are going to do now first of all I need to run the docker uh, for CentOS docker container of CentOS as I said earlier I have already uh, downloaded the CentOS image here what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it okay Now, I'm, if, you, if you noticed, here I'm inside the container. I'm running the container and I'm inside, I just, I, I'm in, in the container. I'm running, I'm inside this container. Well, it's container, this is the default, uh, default host name, which is container ID. Okay, now I'm going to install Ansible in this, inside the container. Let's wait for the installation of Ansible. Yes, I need to install this. Okay, the installation of Ansible inside the Docker container is completed now. Now I'm just exiting from this container okay and if you exit from this and if you execute yes the container which is actually running is only Jenkins and how do we see because it, our center is not active now I have logged out from the server so it is not active so how do we see the inactive containers here here is this is the center is and it is exited status is exited the other one is up 11 minutes and here it's exited 
so this is a, this is our container and if you want to start again you can start because i exited that's it's it's currently it's and it's the, there's no nothing running running inside the container container so it is in the status ex exited okay now we we commit the docker the updated docker container as an image as a docker image here i will explain here this is the commit with uh, some comments here and this is other it's my name so you kappa wasu wasu and this is the container id and this is the wasu this is the uh, image tag okay before executing this command i need to find what is the container id so how do how do we find docker this is, a, this is my container id so for the center is this is my container id so i'm going to paste this here Now I'm going to commit this updated center is image and I name it as center is and zipper. Okay. okay, this is completed and if you check docker images, here we have the updated image. Okay, and if you see the difference between the um, the updated image and the based centos image how we can check is this is 202 mb and this is 313 mb which means there, are, there is something something inside this extra uh, than this which is ansible basically because we installed ansible okay now oh, we can use this image to deploy a, an updated a centos ansible uh, container inside this machine so if you so for example if you you have created a customized image and uh, you need to deploy it on some other server some other base machine or for a different uh, project you need this container so what but how we can do that that we can do by saving this container and exporting it to another machine which is basically saving saving the the image as a as a tar file here and you can transfer this tar, tar file to your destination host and you can load over there okay i'm going to do that now which is saving first of all saving docker and i'm giving path to save i will give dump. what is this container name which is center is and zipper i will put the tar file I need to give the image ID of the the one. The, this is this is our image ID. So, it's saving to this file. It's a tar archive format. Okay, the command is completed. Now let me check if there is uh, this file. There is a file created, and I check the yes. This is the tar file, which is uh, which is our base, uh, the updated Docker image of CentOS and Zipper. We can transfer this to any machines, and you can deploy the updated uh, image over there. Uh, I will explain that also. I'm not going to uh, export it to any any other host because i this is the only host uh, currently i'm running uh, i have which is running and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to delete the this this image that is the updated one and i will import this image from the star file i load uh, this same image from the star file okay let me remove this first Two images, which is CentOS and Docker, 
and I have the tar file here in center sensor here. Okay, now, now this is the command to load this image. Okay. loading this image to my local repository it's being loaded okay the image is successfully loaded now if I check images there is no tag I can add that but this is the image the uh, this is the image what we have created earlier and we have deleted that and we have reimported it again how do I name is local back image ID? I will do the same name here. So maybe okay, also okay. Now, so we have the image, the same image here with a different uh, maybe is of course it's a different image ID. Okay. Okay, let's uh, check this uh, updated image is same as what we have created. Okay, uh, for that we can check, we can run this container. Run interactive mode with, uh, okay. Now I'm inside this container, it's, it's, it has created a new container with, the, with our updated image. Let's check whether Ansible is there or not. That is the update what we have done, yes. Yes, Ansible is there. It is uh, running and it is giving the head command. Okay, so our image is perfectly working. Okay. And now there is one more thing. If you want to copy a file to a Docker container, you can use this Docker CP command. Docker CP, the file in the local host and with the container ID and the location where you want to save. Okay here working with docker the next one is working with docker containers i think most of the steps we have already executed but i will give you some some more details here docker ps this is the this is the active running uh, running containers in this machine okay we have jenkins we have started earlier that is uh, running now and uh, this is the command where we can see all the containers which is even it's active or inactive there is no inactive containers because i removed uh, a few inactive containers that uh, maybe we can run something here and make a, an exit from this here it should show some inactive containers one inactive yes there is an inactive container here which is uh, status is exited so if you want to see all the all the containers which is status is exited or up, we can use hyphen a option it's just a ps command in, in in linux okay and if you see ps there is only it shows only the active containers now if you want to stop a container okay we can there is uh, only one container running in this uh, machine so I will stop the container docker is this is the running container and the docker stop with the container id this is the container id here for jenkins i'm going to stop jenkins yes it stopped if you see con docker ps there is no, nothing and if you see hyphen a there's a uh, running and thank you all the contest jenkins is here okay and if you want to remove a container which is uh, you want to absolutely remove a container you can use docker rm so let's see docker ps a i'm going to remove this container i don't want this docker rm yes now it's removed if you see ps there's only jenkins this container center is removed okay okay Next we, are, next, we are going to see how to push a container to Docker repository. For this, uh, we, are, we are pushing uh, to Docker Hub here. And here, Docker. Yeah. 
here I have uh, I think I already logged in with my credentials this is the uh, docker hub it's a public one here we if you if you have uh, an updated container which is updated image that we need to be um, we need to upload it in the docker hub we can use that we can do that using first we need to log into our uh, docker hub with, with our docker hub id and then we can push the docker image for example i'm going to clear this I'm going to I need to pull for example I need to pull the CentOS image and civil image. I'm going using my okay the login succeeded. I am inside my uh, login credentials. Now we can push this image to Docker Hub here uh, what we need to do is i don't have a repository called sunil kebosu so what i need to do i need to create a tag here docker tag with this uh, this image id i'm going to tag as sunil instead of sunil kebosu sunil Basu. that is my repository here see if you see here this is sunil Basu. so i need the same name here now uh, if i see the images there is a tag created here there's a this is exactly same both images are exactly same only the difference is a tag so i'm going to push this image to my public repository what i only need is the name which is uh, center is and super okay it's uh, pushing I'm I'm not going to uh, push any image here I don't want this actually so I'm just ex I'm just canceling this command it will push and once this push is completed uh, we can uh, download it from anywhere or you can it's a public one. Okay, I don't want to do that now okay now we we have done uh, many things which is uh, one is uh, pulling a container pulling an image and running it uh, as a container and uh, we pushed back to we created a customized image and uh, we transferred this to some other machine and we run uh, on the other machine but if we need a a a purely new image a customized completely fully new image which is customized to customized image that you want to create by your own we can do that that is using a docker file it's using a docker file this is the format this is this is an example of a docker file here i i will explain a bit here and uh, how to build your own image using a docker file this is uh, like a small i cannot say script it's some kind of markup language okay so from you can do uh, many things you can build from the scratch or you can use an already available image and you can customize all your customizations here and build the image and one center so, so. I'm just updating this okay <coughs> okay here uh, this is the start of docker uh, docker file this is the end here okay this is the first line so from um from from where i'm uh, creating this docker file i can uh, make if you put scratch here then you need to do everything that it is very it is a scratch image okay but if you put centos there will be, be minimal installation minimal it, it, the docker file itself will get the minimal content of uh, centos image it will pull the centos image first and then do the rest okay it will pull the centos image from the docker hub and then do, do uh, the rest of the steps and this is the maintainer maintainer uh, my, my name so maybe and this is my email id 
and I'm exposing 22 which means I'm opening the port 22 for this docker container okay and here I'm running some commands what well, this is the command I'm going to run here which is uh, basically a am installation inside this container when you are creating this image this these commands will be executed and these packages will be already updated in the image okay and this is, is it's installing the cleaning app and uh, installing epl repo repository here it's installing a few packages okay that's all and uh, it's create it's doing some other commands which is uh, create creating a directory for us search key authentication and skiing uh, generating the key and it's doing another thing which is uh, creating a user called uh, ansible it's a user art command using and here setting a password for ansible it's ansible ansible and here setting a um, password for root this root root i will tell you why we are doing this uh, this is the updating sudo's file and this is the entry point which is the this is the one this is the process or this is the daemon it will it will run when the in, when you run the container okay and uh, how to and this is our docker file this is our code and uh, how we build a docker image so this is the command for that docker build okay let's try this i'm going to uh, create a file like this okay here i have copied uh, this uh, the content of the docker file here this is the same content what we saw here and uh, from center yes so this is the one okay i'm going to save this i'm in this directory okay, I'm, there is nothing called uh, docker file other than this directory okay now i'm going to build this docker image using this docker file so I just need to specify the current directory where the docker file exists okay it's a uh, pulling the center is image which is already there so you don't need to download it again and inside this when the image is being created it is downloading it is checking here is a executing the m command so if you can see this is the command just running okay it will take a few some time few minutes uh, to install all these packages Installation of uh, packages is completed and it's doing the rest of the stuff. It's doing the other configurations, other commands. Okay, this is completed. The build successfully completed. Now, if you see docker images so we have the new image created here but a minute ago which is 463 mp and it has all this customization what here we have described in the docker file okay i'm going to tag this image Sensible from Docker file. Okay, now I have this image here. Okay, okay, we have built, uh, we have created a new image, a new customized image uh, with the Docker file. Now uh, I'm just running this, uh, I'm just running a container with this uh, Docker. A file we have created uh, this is a nice one which uh, we can use for ansible uh, which is uh, ansible is installed and ssh everything is uh, is possible from the outside network so here i'm using the same format here i'm porting in i'm redirecting port 22 to 1022 which can be accessed from the outside network and uh, this is the file i'm going to run this okay it's uh, started now let me check docker ps okay we have this running and what i uh, do if i need to um, access this machine from outside network i will check ip 
of my machine and use SSH with port 1022. Okay, uh, it's asking for the password and I'm inside the container now. Here I have Ansible like playbook is installed and many other things is installed. And if someone want to try Ansible or want to do something with Ansible, we can deliver this as a Docker container. Okay. So Docker, yes, it's running now because I'm running this accessory demo. Okay. Now, now this is the last part that is uh, we are migrating Docker to a new file system. Uh, by default the docker will be installed in var uh, var clip docker and in case if you need to uh, the root file system is getting filled up you can move to other file system uh, later 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 onwards we can use this procedure for to migrate docker to a new file new file system so i'm going to show you how to do that first of all we need to edit the docker service file which uh, and we need to edit here this at the end i'm going to give the new path like this using hyphen g option path to i'll give you a new path here and on here well, i just give for example i give opt docker I don't have any new file system here but I just give a direct name we can create a new file system uh, in opt docker and we can do that we can migrate that okay I have edited the this service file I need to reload the system D diamond. and I'm going to stop the docker to transfer to migrate for migration Docker is stopped here. Just, just checking if that's any Docker pauses are running. Nothing good. And uh, I'm get, creating this directory here. It's a uh, slash opt slash Docker. Okay, I've created the directory. Now I'm syncing our old Docker directory and the new one we have created let's wait for the syncing okay the rsync is completed just checking how much size is there and how many size okay it's almost same okay i'm going to start docker container now we have done all the other steps okay now if i see docker so this. if i see the docker output here yeah our docker root directory has been changed to opt docker that is the new file system I think uh, we have successfully migrated Docker. Just check. Yes, we don't have anything here. Yeah, we have the other, the stopped ones here. Okay, Docker. We have. Okay, we have all the images what we have created. So we have successfully migrated um, the Docker storage to a new volume, and. Uh, I think that's all the what I have prepared prepared to show you okay okay guys thanks for watching this video please like this video and click subscribe don't forget to subscribe the button below okay thanks again bye bye have a great day bye bye